Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Columbus, Ohio, uh, with a brand new frauditor who goes by the channel name Cult News. And what sets him apart from all the other frauditors? Well, apparently in this video, he uses an actual microphone. That's right, no gimmick, no whisk like some other frauditors like to use, but that still doesn't make you a journalist. It just means you spent some money on a microphone, and that's really about it. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Today, we are at the Franklin County Government Center downtown columbus ohio and of course as always we're here to peacefully exercise our first amendment right to film in public and publicly accessible areas you are so lame geez here's the second frauditor this week that i've had to have this discussion with i mean come on now come up with some new material that sets yourself apart from other frauditors like sean paul reyes I mean, you eventually got to have your own character, or otherwise, you're not going to succeed. Many, many minutes later. A men's bathroom? The elevator back here. Seems pretty simple. Oh, here we go. If you need some information here, you got all sorts of stuff. Everything from drug counseling. I'm sorry? Can I help you? I, I'm sorry, uh, uh, and who are you? Who are you? That's why I saw you walk back here. Are you here to see an officer? I am not here to see an officer. Okay, so can I help you then? Uh, again, uh, I'm sorry, who are you? I'm an officer here. Okay. So can I help can I, you? Can I get your name? I want to know who you are if you're not supposed to be back here. Sir, this is a secure area. Sir, you're a public servant. And this is not a secure area. This is a public hallway. So are you refusing you're to identify through, yourself, sir? But you're going through people's mailboxes. This is a mailbox? Uh, yeah, sir, you want to re-review what this is, sir? Let me go, let me go get the deputy. I'm sorry, what's your, what's your name and badge number? You don't want to give your name and badge number? I'm getting deputy. Give me your name. Sir, I'm not a public servant. Call the deputies. Call the deputies as man of the camera. Quick, quick. There's a difference between a man who serves a, the public and what you're talking about. This gentleman right here serves the public, not just you. And the way you're talking about public servant is that he is your personal slave. Well, that is not the case, dude. Unbelievable. You refuse to identify yourself, sir. Sir, I'm looking at the public literature and you refuse to identify yourself. I asked you who you were, the public servant. I don't work for you, chief. You work for me. Unbelievable. This guy's entitled. No, you're just projecting. You're the one who feels entitled because you think you're a journalist, which grants you special privileges. Well, it doesn't grant you any more privileges than you already have. So, dude, climb out of your ivory tower and join uh, the rest of us on planet Earth. So, as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted, we've got some literature here for Joe Q Public. Let's see what we got here. Housing homeless assistance. We're missing that. Got some stuff for drug counseling. Child support admin tools. Let's see. Voter info. You know, something tells me that this might not be for uh, public consumption right here because, well, I've seen this kind of setup 
in uh, several offices that I have worked in. But, you know, who knows? I mean, that other guy is employed there, so he most likely knows better than the frauditor who has never been in this building. So, you know what? I would be willing to bet that the employee knows better. I'm not sure what's going on. We just heard the shouting in our offices. Gentlemen here? Yes. Hi there. Hi. You're not supposed to be on this floor? I'm not supposed to be on this floor? No. That's what I was just told. Uh, this is... Is this not a public no. building? Okay. So I'm wondering what Why do they have information for the public here? here. I asked you your name, sir. No, I asked you what you were doing back here. You wouldn't identify yourself. I don't know Sir, you, you didn't identify yourself. Okay, well, we've already determined that you're not supposed to be on this floor, so I'll yes. show you to the elevator. I have every right to be on this floor and get public literature. Don't tell me I don't have a right to be on this floor. Um, There's public literature, right? You're told yes. by the wrong person the wrong information, ma'am. No, I'm But really you're recording sure. him as an individual. He doesn't want to be recorded. He's a public servant. There's cameras all over the place. You guys are recording me. Look, dumbass. You are in the probation department. Of course they're going to have security cameras in there. And speaking of probation department, why the hell are you in the probation department to begin with? I mean, are, do you have any business in this department to begin with? If not, take a walk. Take a hike. Just get out of the building. Because the probation department is not exactly a public forum. Unless you are here for business. And really, most people that come here for business, felons and convicts and everything else like that, who most likely don't want to be filmed anyway. Because you know what? They spent some time behind bars and they might take exception to that. If Don't be right. You still haven't given me your name or why you're Sir, here. you haven't given me your name and why you're hassling me. But I'm supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be here getting literature for my friends. I'm committing the crime of public photography, sir. Is public photography a crime? I'm taking some pictures and video for a person I'm getting literature for. I have every right to be on this floor getting this. Why can you just answer that question when I asked you? Sir? Because it's none of your business. Why can't you answer your I'm name? I'm sorry, I work here. I want to know if some sir, strangers walking around I pay here, what your salary. I pay my taxes. What is your name, sir? What is your name? Ma'am, can, can I get your badge number and the name? Um, I have, listen. Ma'am, you just showed up here and told me I can't be yes. here. I asked you for your name and badge number. Is nobody giving names and badge numbers these days? And I thought delusional moronic asshat Chris Cordova was, uh, a drama queen. I mean, you're so much worse. And do you realize that your camera has a zoom option? Perhaps you should use that to uh, zoom in on their badges and get their numbers. In fact, you could do the same thing with their uh, name tag, too. Are you here to report to a probation officer? I'm here to get public literature. This, is not for public, this, this isn't for public? No, this is for probationers who have been sentenced by our court. Unless you're on probation or here for comment, please, you can go ahead and leave off the floor. So you're saying it is a crime for me to be on this floor? One, two, three, four. Ma'am, again, you're the one that asked me to leave the floor. Can I have your name and badge number? Okay. I'll be glad to give you that as, as we leave. You're not okay. supposed to be back here. Uh, am I? Am I? Do I have to leave under under threat of arrest from this floor? All right, then. Then leave me alone. No, we're Leave me alone. I'm getting literature. Don't okay. put your hands on I'm me, sir. Your, just come this I'm way. getting just literature come for my friend. Yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is Deputy Bellamy, batch 1300. Thank you. We're asking you very is nicely he, to leave. I'm asking you very nicely. Let me get some literature for my friend. Can he grab some literature and then we can go? Absolutely, right? I can get some literature. Hey, dumbass. She just told you that information in those boxes is not for you. So... Why don't you make like a tree and leave? Okay. I'm disturbing the floor. How about if I lower my voice and ask you guys to leave me alone? We have people reporting. We have people who are dealing with this. We're, we're here to work. I'm, I'm here to get information. Your people are bothering me. I'm not bo You're not on probation. Public program. photography is not a crime. Listen, I get it, but you do need to leave. You're telling me this is not a publicly accessible no, floor not. here. Really? So the public information here is not for the public? That is not for the public. 
Okay, interesting. If it was, it'd be out in front where yes, the public is. Yes, and that is all yes. stuff that's so, under so, the So is this theft if I'm taking things from here, if it's not for the public? Am I stealing from the government? This is ridiculous. Leave me alone. Oh my goodness. Does the concept of non-public areas fly over your head completely? I mean, what do you think about the back areas back room areas of your local Walmart. Do you think you can just walk right into those areas and uh, not expect to get screamed at by the associates back there? I mean, you'll be escorted right out the door where you came from right off the sales floor. A little longer than a few minutes later. I'm sorry, what's your name, ma'am? My name's actually Mike Norton with KULT News. You wanna tell me why you're trying to violate my rights? You want to tell me what, under threat of arrest? I did not say anything about that. Then you need to leave me alone. You need to leave me alone. Listen. Why are you trying to violate my rights? I have every right to be in this building on this floor. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's no sign this is officer section, though. There's no sign this is officer section, is there? Okay, so I need to, she says I need to be up here there's another one here okay i need to be up here because that's the officer's section got it got it sir my name's mike norton with kult news would you like to tell me why you're violating my rights or at least why you tried you weren't successful you apmp guys you really like to control people don't you and just what is your point of doing all this i mean to exercise your uh, First Amendment right of freedom of the press? Well, let me tell you something, dude. Freedom of the press does not mean that the press can go anywhere they damn well please. It basically means you have the right to publish your stories without government interference. It doesn't mean you have the right to walk around restricted areas acting like a complete asshat. In fact, you're lucky that they don't arrest you and put you in the j in jail for a few days as a result of this. In fact, this just goes to show you that these people aren't tyrants like the rest of you frauditors say they are because, well, if they were, they would have had you do a magic trick like disappearing forever. Huh? You don't want to, you don't want to give you a bad jump in there, sir? Yeah, hilarious. These scumbags, unbelievable. Go on. I will dismiss you without further argument. Go on. Beat it. Unbelievable. You people are something else. You want to discuss why you're trying to violate my, my civil rights, ma'am? Ms. Turner? You said you, you would, once I came out here, you give me your badge number. What's your badge number? I was still leaving. Oh, okay. Okay, let me ask you something, dude. How exactly were your civil rights violated? I mean, were you denied a job based upon your race, religion, color, creed, nationality, or whatever? I mean, if that were the case, then yeah, I would say that your civil rights had been violated. But what you did here was just walk into a non-public area, employees only pretty much, and making a total ass of yourself, how is that violating your civil rights when they didn't even touch you when all they asked you to do was leave? Tell us how that is violating your rights! Stick around then. I'll definitely get that from you. Unbelievable. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to camp out here for a while. Yeah. Let's just, let's just camp out. Let's see who can wait longer. Hey, Turner. Wait, so you're going to leave without giving me your badge number? Turner, is it against policy for you to give me your badge number, ma'am? Go ahead, beat it. I will dismiss you without further argument. You're dismissed. Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, no, thank you. Well, now, I can guarantee you with this personality that uh, you are destined to end up as one of the many failed frauditors who go way too far and end up getting put into jail longer than any of the other frauditors who know what the hell they're doing and to avoid jail. So have fun with that, douchebag. And that is Franklin County Adult Probation and Parole, where they try to violate people's rights when they walk in the building.
No. No. That's you being a total crybaby douche canoe who, when he couldn't get his way, when he was in the uh, non-public area of the floor, acting like a complete petulant, spoiled little brat of a child who should have had some discipline from his mommy and daddy 20 years ago. But now you are a future inmate, and I'm going to call you inmate because you'll go right into the system and act like you're entitled there. And the convicts, the ones who truly know how the system works, will put you in your place. At any rate, guys, I hope you enjoy enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.